Women in Art Mary Cassatt During the 19th century, many artists considered Paris the place to be to study and eventually launch a career in the fine arts. Notable art movements, such as Realism, Romanticism, and Impressionism, made their mark on the city, and artists born in France and abroad flocked to Paris to work. One such artist was the American Mary Cassatt. Born in 1844 in the state of Pennsylvania, she would start her artistic training as a teenager at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Cassatt continued her studies in Paris and went on to study under the established artist Jean-Léon Jérôme there. After completing her studies, she would eventually settle there to start her very successful career. Cassatt clashed with the leading artistic authorities at the French Salon, who looked down on her because of her status as a woman artist. She eventually began to exhibit her work with the artists known as the Impressionists, who were considered extremely avant-garde at the time. Even after forming a relationship with the Impressionists, Cassatt would continue to create art on her own terms. Her work is some of the most memorable of the 19th century. One of the first paintings Mary Cassatt is believed to have exhibited with the Impressionists is the painting Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, which she completed in 1878. She created it in close consultation with Edgar Degas, an Impressionist who became Cassatt's close friend. The painting indeed reflects the often complex compositions of Degas' paintings. Furthermore, parts of the background have even been found to have been painted by him. Even though Degas' input can strongly be felt on the painting, Little Girl in a Blue Armchair is one of the earliest Parisian paintings by Mary Cassatt that features children as its subject matter. Cassatt is well known today for her tender and loving paintings of children, and Little Girl in a Blue Armchair was one of her earliest works depicting a child in her own soft and appealing style. The painting gives us deep insight into the little girl's feelings, as her pose and facial expression show us her boredom at being painted and hint at a strong personality. As a result, we can gain a realistic but sympathetic view into the life of a child. You can see this painting at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris and at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. During Cassatt's early days with the Impressionists, she also created many compelling portraits of her family members who came to visit her while she was in Paris. One of the most touching is the painting Catherine Cassatt reading to her grandchildren, which was completed in 1880. Although Mary Cassatt never married or had children of her own, her brother Alexander did, and the children featured here are probably his. Catherine Cassatt, the artist's mother, was a well-educated woman in her own right. Catherine passionately supported the education of women and encouraged Mary Cassatt to pursue her interest in the arts, though both parents had concerns about whether fine art would make for a suitable career. In this painting, Catherine continues to emphasize the importance of education this time in the lives of her grandchildren by reading to them. Similar to Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, Mary Cazotte present Catherine to us from a child's perspective. The children gather around her and listen intently, eager to learn. Through this imagery, Mary Cazotte portrays a family in which intellectual curiosity flourishes from generation to generation, regardless of gender. Sadly, this painting cannot be seen by the public because it is in a private collection. A later painting that Cassatt created, which is perhaps one of her most intimate depictions of mothers and children, is Maternal Caress, which she completed in 1896. In this work of art, we gain a very strong sense of a child's world and her feelings. The background of the painting is a blur of different shades of green, highlighting the warmth of the little girl and her strong love for her mother. The mother and child are the only figures in the painting, and the child's attention is focused exclusively on her mother. This choice beautifully depicts the strong bond between a mother and her young child. Most importantly, Cassatt depicts the little girl stroking her mother's cheek, an extremely tender and trusting expression on her face. This imagery serves as a powerful evocation of the love between mothers and their children and the gentle way that small children express this love. As a result, 
Maternal Caress can be said to be one of Cassatt's greatest masterpieces. You can see this work of art at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Mary Cassatt was one of the greatest creators of the 19th century. Her fervent desire to reach her full artistic potential took her to great heights and gained her the respect of other important artistic minds of the time, such as Berthe Morisot and Edgar Degas. She was known for her soft and appealing style that captured the innocence and beauty of children. Her ability to innovate while at the same time create touching, relatable scenes have helped her to earn the reputation as one of the most beloved artists of all time.